What's up guys? It is Thursday. That means it's snap on Thursday. It's beautiful weather now, but we got the hurricane bearing down on us. Wind's already picking up. It's supposed to get a ton of rain. So we'll see how that goes, but never fear. Kevin is here. So let's take a look and see what he's got. Let's do it. Thursday. <laughs> Thursday. Once again. Yeah. Ooh, that's right. some crazy eyes this way. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like me after a a really good Saturday football game tailgate session. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, I make her pick them out about two weeks at a time right now, just so just so she has it. Well, how's the snap on life going? And great. My Wednesdays are so full. I'm wore out by the time by the time Thursday comes. It just you pick up a route that uh hasn't no one's seen anybody for like five years. So yeah. Dude, this this truck is slammed. This is absolutely crazy. I'm glad you think that, because man, I, I have sold so much this week I thought it was empty. No. So uh, I guess good. it's just the As long the as you don't perception. say carpet on the shelves, you're doing good. Yeah. So. Yeah, I, I try to stay away from that. I, I spend my Sunday sort of reorganizing everything, trying to keep fresh stuff up front, or at least promotions and stuff like that. Yeah. Just RA builders stuff. I have people they'll be like twenty, thirty dollars short of getting a free T-shirt or hat or something. Uh, mm -hmm. Try and keep that stuff up close, so I'm not trying to hunt down something at the back of the truck. Absolutely. Well, I mean, got all kind of stuff up here. Did I have the tins last week? Yes, we okay. showed them there. Ah, okay. Awesome. I couldn't remember. Everybody was laughing because you was calling the stubby impact stumpies. Yeah, I man. I thought that was I, funny. I, have, <laughs> I haven't even watched. Man, I've been so busy. I didn't even get to watch the last video. Usually, I at least get to go through it a little bit. I think. Yeah, I, they're like, what? What does your snap on guy I, call? I don't the know why I calls them I, stumpies. And I've been doing it all. I, I don't know. Maybe I got a list or something that I just can't control. Because I sure enough, every time I have to correct myself on it. Everybody knows what you're meaning. Ain't no big yeah, deal. You know what I mean, not what I say. <laughs> That's it. So, uh, uh, what probably. new and cool we got this week? Man, well, I'm actually ready for you this week. Uh-oh. Look out, boys. Okay. Got the thread fixer. Fixes it from the inside out. Yep. It was a lifesaver at the dealership for us also. Mm -hmm. That way you don't have to beat the stud out of there and replace it. This sort of fixes it. It grabs from the good thread the... Ness makes good tools. Too. Oh, yeah. Really yeah. Good tools. Get in on the inside and they're spring loaded. So right. it'll automatically find the thread and then mm -hmm. you're starting on you're starting on the inside of it. Sure. And then working your way out. So yep. it fixes the thread. It's a complete lifesaver, especially a lot of the oil changers are <laughs> big pickups on that. Mm -hmm. And then also the other one that I liked that I saw that I wish they would have carried while I was a tech. That one they did carry. Mm -hmm. It's just for your smaller bolts if they strip, so you can right. fix them. This one I like, I think is very cool because it goes inside, inside and fixes it from the inside right. out. So you're not trying to tap it from mm -hmm. the outside in. Yep. It seems real handy and it comes in two different sizes, but they don't sell them individually yet that I've found. But well, that those, is just some stuff I got Those Nash street threaders are amazing. Like, I know I've, I've watched them do demos at you know, seen on some other tool shows that I've been to, and they're really, really impressive how it works. I, know. I like that one for sure. That that yeah. was, man, when my snap-on guy got that on his truck, I was like, dude, I gotta have it. <laughs> as much as I fight, and then when I saw when I was at the tool show and I saw that other one that fixes the inside yeah. threads, I was like, where where was this? They work, man. They work really good. So what else do you got? Whew. Man, uh, probably Just some new sweaters. coasting along this time? Yeah, uh, that was about, uh, I did get some more of the hose clamps. I don't know if I've ever even shown you any of the hose clamp pliers. Uh, let me get a close up of those jobs. Grab from the side, the front. Yeah. Man, they are handy. So for, I think it's the first time I've ever had them on the truck while mm -hmm. I've seen you. I get 
one or two pairs at a time. It takes a little bit for them to amp up. I also got a whole bunch of my lights in. Look, that's for the tins. Holy a bunch of lights. smokes at yeah. the lot. Well, it's the most, it's the most popular light, <laughs> so I them. ordered them from the show. Yeah, you know, so. I have that light, and they are really, really good. I like because you can use it like a regular flashlight up the end, Yep. or you can flip the blade out and have a blade light. Yeah, it's I really, got the whole... Really nice. And they're bright. Usually I Absolutely. cut the lights off when the guys when the guys grab them. What, um, there was something last week we talked about, and I said we need to show that after we turn the video off. And well, I don't warranty in your air hose. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So, like, guys can talk crap about me buying snap on air hoses and water hoses or whatever. So, this air hose actually blew after Hamilton left. So, I didn't have a warranty, but I had it zip tied together and I just kind of threw it on a shelf. <laughs> and Kevin warranted that joker out. Like, yeah. So I ran into a guy at the shop. He had a had a compile i guess he had husky i guess yeah and it still had the case it was a three-year limited warranty mm -hmm. is what his air hose says and uh, i told him whenever he got ready for a lifetime warranty let me know <laughs> <laughs> well it was worth it i mean i already replaced yeah. it once so yeah you know there you go i should have asked him what, what he paid but I, I just i didn't think about that yeah i just i just noticed like as soon as i saw it i, I saw the three-year warrant limited yep. warranty on That's it true. i was like well i wonder if they would have worn <laughs> like how what would the process be on something like that so i know last week after the video was over because like we don't script anything like i literally walk out here with a camera <laughs> i hand him the microphone and we we go shoot the video but a lot of times after the video is over we talk a lot about stuff so i know last week i kind of talked to you about some socket rails yeah so what is snap-ons like what is the best option you have for guys with for socket rails it just depends like they have the foam they have magnetic uh man they're the like, options you have that any of the options on here like any I do of not. Magnet rails i do not i had one of my guys he like just to snap on so mm -hmm. it's a metal rail and yep. you just snap them on and he just they're man they're so cheap that it just makes makes sense i think he ordered like six of them and i don't think that he wasn't too bad off price wise right uh i know they carry some of the foam like i got like the magnetic plate that a lot of guys like yeah but that's i have more one just, of those on just the side of my lip them. too yeah and so normally holders. normally you show me cool tools yeah. So I'm going to flip the script on you this week. <laughs> I'm going to show you some cool stuff. Yeah. Because normally it's the other way around. So oh, I brought, you said you were going to show me a... I brought two examples this week. I'm yeah. I'm going to dig them out of my back. Ah. So I want to show you these two. So this oh, yeah. is the double wide rail. Obviously it's too wide. Yeah. And you can see how you can configure it. So you can have quarter inch, three eighths, half inch, three quarter and one inch sockets. All you can swap those rail. out. Yeah. So... Like unscrew it and you can yeah. slide it off. Okay. You can see it's got a metal T post in there. Yeah. So it'll last. So this side's got the single wide. So I want you to pull them apart. That's why I got these lift rings on there. Well, I was so trying just, to pull that apart a second ago. So just grab in each oh, one of the lift rings those. and then pull them apart. Okay. And I'm going to warn you. I know. You, it if you put them back together, it's gonna snap don't me. get your finger in the way because <laughs> it will bite the piss out of you. Yeah. I so, like those. I want you to check those out. I know you got some loose sockets up here. Oh yeah, I got them all over the place. So you can try like just the single wide and that way you can see how they so work. Cause normally it's the other way around. You're showing me stuff. And that you don't have like to have the pegs is what's cool. Like yeah. they'll even hold fine don't. even here, like turn it upside down and you'll see like. Yeah, they don't just get knocked off there either. So Oop, like if you're like in a service truck and you got it vertical, the pegs keep it on there a lot stronger, you know, like if it's vertical. But really the pegs, if you're putting in a toolbox drawer, they're there just for kind of identification purposes to see what's missing. I like that. Definitely nice. And if you put it on the peg, sure enough, it's so not I want to show you something else all. cool. I don't want you to put it on the finish of your toolbox, <laughs> but open that thing up because you got toolbox drawer liners in there, yeah. and that way you can feel how well it bites in a toolbox. There we go. Mm -hmm. Use that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
You ain't sliding. So, it's not no, sliding it's not anywhere. Sliding. And it doesn't matter if you've even got the thick toolbox liner in there. Man, if you didn't have that in there, yeah, you, you can't never get, it get that right. off. So take the double wide now. You play with a single wide. Now snap it in there. And do it the same way. I like hearing that chomp. <laughs> I like that. Oh, wow. Come on, pull it. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Yeah, that's amazing. So that's what I was telling you about. Like, there's a lot of options in this world for socket rails and stuff like that, but those right. are by yeah, far that is the right. strongest ones you'll ever have. This is the one that ever. you showed me where the guy had it stuck the to the whole front of drawer. The truck. Yeah, no, he had the whole drawer and turned it upside down. Oh Remember yeah, shaking it. it. Yeah. yeah, but that's the same one that they pulled the truck with. Yeah. They pulled a F-150 with just mag rails. Man, I don't doubt it, cause man, that, that about what did I say? come off there. These things are no joke. But it's, they're, Max, all right. they're amazing, you know. What size, that'd be what, three quarter? That's one inch. One inch, okay. Three quarter, half, three eighths, and quarter. Awesome. And you can configure them any way. Like if a guy's, you know, kind of vehicle specific yeah. and he wants quarter inch, you know, these three sockets yeah. and. So they can know. buy just the studs yes, also if yeah. they need them. Okay. And then, you know, the lift range are sold separately. All the stuff is so You're going to have to have that. That's a must. There, there is no way, because, man, if you drop one of those on something magnetic, you're not, <laughs> you're not sliding it so off. So snap anything. them together like I did, but don't like. I'm just now getting to where I don't have the white streak on my finger. <laughs> oh, it got you. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. They're bad. Dude. I'm telling you, those pinch, things pinch will, you real quick. They'll bite you. <laughs> That's, but that kind of shows the strength of the magnets. Yeah. And then when you pull them apart, like. That's crazy, because well, that's what it? I did with those. Yeah. I, had, I, I just let them get close enough and it smacked me, but that's just for display. I tell you what's cool, like stick it up there on that piece of metal that you got hanging vertical. Yeah, that was a miss ship. I got to send those, send those back. So like you got some big wrenches, like you can un just take them apart. And I'll show you something cool that you can do. I'll take these two apart. Yeah, and just use the small one, the single one. Let's take it up there. Now take one of these wrenches and hang from it. Let's, see. Let's go with the big boy. Think it'll hold that one? Oh shit, yeah, it'll hold it. <laughs> that thing is, it's crazy how strong those magnets are. Ooh. You might have to put it on the yeah. head, yeah. We don't have enough metal because it's round. But they, they are ungodly strong. Sorry. Let you see how dirty it is. I think it's nasty. So many people, like they said in that one, why don't you keep your chrome clean, man? If, it's hard if that, everybody's fingering on it. All oh, yeah. Day. It's oh, it's an all day thing. And like that wrench, you know, like even on the side of it, you know, it's, it's round, so it's not even getting full contact. But uh -huh. dude, that thing is crazy. Like hanging pliers and stuff on. It <laughs> held on to it well enough. It <laughs> took the whole thing off. That's amazing but, how strong that is. Yeah. I don't know why Snap On don't carry those. Like, you guys are kind of known for always having the best of the best, but like, why are you not carrying you, the best socket? They don't, players? they didn't, like, my original stock, I didn't get any. Now, I've had a few people ask, and they want, like, the guy that just asked the other day, he wanted the peg, mm -hmm. like the long, like, not magnetic, because yep. that's what I, I was trying to put him on the magnetic, and he, he wanted the peg, is what he wanted. What's cool about those magnetic rails is they won't magnetize your sockets either because the polarity is running think about that. different directions yeah. on the magnets. So these are actually patented. Them's yeah. got a patent on them, but yeah, they won't magnetize your sockets. It's, they're they're oh, cool. I like that too. But I know I told you I was going to bring them and let you look at them. And I like that. Did you bring that ratchet too? You said no, you had a ratchet no, I'll, that I'll bring you it, were though. crazy about. Yep. I'll bring it and let you look at it. I'm afraid to close it. I don't want to get pinched again. Just let it go. <laughs> <laughs> no way around that <laughs> i just stuck them together like that so i could put them in my pocket yeah yeah it got me too when i put it together but it's anyway right. it's usually you showing me some cool shit i just want yeah. to show you some cool shit i like the but. color I like, i'm i'm about blue i really do like that blue i like that magnetic or, well that's the like blue's the actually the old style it's really? um it's the uh because that puts me in mind of uh, this is powder coated the green's the new style okay. That's just what two I had laying there that I could get out easy. That's the two colors they do. No, they do. Or? They do seven different colors. Okay. So it's blue, black, red, green, orange. All pink, right. I bet you purple. a lot of people are gonna see it and so. want well, to know how to get on that for sure. Yeah. Like Snap-on needs to get them on all the trucks. Yeah. 
Like it'd be nice to carry. I don't run into too many like the people that buy the sets. I don't even know if I've sold too many of the sets of sockets. Like most people, they get on and they're mm -hmm. looking like they grab individuals. I haven't really asked them, well, what are you storing them on? I guess that that'll be a question that's going to come up a little bit more yeah. <laughs> in the coming week for sure. At least see what they're doing to hold well, the, on to them. Like the cool part about those, they got them in a bunch of different lengths. That goes from like eight inches all the way up to twenty inches. So a guy oh, can completely see. customize. Yeah. You know his box. I'm gonna get all the way across the drawer on it. Yep. I know my personal box. I had the pegboard. Yep. And but it was like star head screws to mm -hmm. keep it in everywhere. You know, I had a. I think it was called Tool Grid, Manus Tool Grid or something like that that makes those. Yeah. And, you know, I had the opportunity to get some of those when I bought my Matco box at a really good deal. And it's just too much shit to put together. The and then, like, if you want to move something, like, you oh, got to yeah. redo all your... And I, I didn't like that. Like, yeah, that when I moved up from, from my 4S to my Epic, yep. uh, it, it was. I, I had, like, what was in... What was in my original box, I mean, mm -hmm. it's it moved to the Epic just to keep it easy, but man, it, it took me and two other guys to sort of <laughs> carry the pegboard <laughs> out of there because it, it's a lot yeah. of weight when you got your sockets and wrenches and everything, and yeah. I really did not want to have to uh, take it all apart sure. to get yeah. it out. So. That's way too much trouble. Oh, yeah. That'd be a little bit easier. Especially, <laughs> I, I like the little pull cords, man. Yeah. The little pull pins. All right, guys. So uh, we finally got to show the Snap-on guy something cool yeah. for a change. So. Yeah, I like that. Flip the script totally there. And I work on stubbies. 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 <laughs> you can call them stumpies. We know what Man, you mean. Man, all, all day I do it. Every time I show it, I call it a stump. I don't know. It's, I don't know why. I wish I did. It's all good. <laughs> it don't matter. All right, guys. Uh, well, thanks for hanging out with us on this Thursday. Like always, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger, click that button. Y'all have a great week. See ya.